Good morning, bears. Welcome to Bear on the Street. I am your host, Benjamin. It is a brand new year, so I can't wait to start chatting with y'all. Uh, I got to talk about y'all's New Year's resolutions, and I've got a few other questions to ask you. Let's go. What is your New Year's resolution for 2022? Uh, it's definitely to develop better study habits. <laughs> Mine were awful last semester. I know it's basic, but definitely to work out more. How well have you stuck to it? I've gone every day this week. Jeez. I wonder if that's going to keep up. I want to practice some Korean, so hopefully. Awesome. <laughs> we'll see. Do you have any previous practice with Korean? Nothing I want to show on tape. Um, my New Year's resolution is to read more. I did set a goal that's like 50 books. Have you completed any books so far? I started one. You started one? Yeah. Okay, 49 more to go. Did you make one last year? Yes. What was it? I don't remember. I gave up the first day. That's impressive. Thank you. Some people like, you know, they don't even make them and they just don't think about it, but you just gave up day one. Yeah. If you could sum up 2021 in one word, what would it be? Just one word. I said two words. He said work. Right. Championships, the Braves and the Dogs. Too tragic. Chance. Tragic. Why would you describe it as tragic? It was long. Oh, and the senior right. I just hit already. That's more than one word. What's the craziest, funniest, or weirdest thing that happened to you in 2021? I got to cook for Carrie Underwood. Two summers ago, I worked on a dude ranch in Colorado, as one naturally does. My old boss called me and he was like, Hey Sarah, can we fly you out to Colorado? We have some influential people coming to the ranch you want to cook. It was a bunch of like famous athletes and then Carrie Underwood. And so I cooked for Carrie Underwood and I played Gaga Ball with her son. Our house got rolled. Okay. But it rained the night before, mm. and so all the toilet paper got stuck in our bushes. Did you have to clean it up? Yeah. That's even more fun. It, it was a teaching opportunity. I once got serenaded to in a hot tub over the summer. Some guy started singing a country song he wrote himself. It was really weird. Were you on a trip with your family? Or? Yeah, I was. Oh, okay. Yeah, so my little sister and my cousin were in the same hot tub. Okay, and it was just some random guy? Yeah. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> Stranger danger. If 2021 were a movie, what would it be? Titanic. Have you thought about this? No. No, this was just right there. Yep. Which part of the Titanic? When they're all sinking. That's that's very tragic. Tragic. What are you most looking forward to in 2022? The people. The people? Yeah, the people. Just all your friends? All my friends. I'm just excited to see people again. Both graduating and starting my job, but we yeah. haven't figured out what job I'm starting yet, so. <laughs> well, you got to graduate first, right? Exactly. Yeah. Let's see how well you know the lyrics to this New Year's song. Auld Lang Syne. Okay, finish the line. Should old acquaintance be forgot? <laughs> I don't know the words. Uh, Auld to Mary Moore? Wait, I do know this song. Oh. Sa -da 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 -da. I don't know what it says. But come up I with lyrics. What, what, what lyrics would you put to it? Be better than 2021. Be better than 2021. That's Ooh, so the voice <laughs> crack. What words do you think might fit? Also the pandemic. Oh, I love it. That was amazing. You should you should join choir. You should add that to your resolution. <laughs> yeah. Sing more. Uh, maybe, next maybe next year. Maybe next year. Next year. 2023. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching Bear on the Street. I'm wishing everyone a happy, healthy, and successful new year.